Boston Dynamics uh, has been around for a couple decades and they're, I would say, pretty adventurous company that focuses on, on really showcasing highly capable legged robots. Then the viral videos that have come out have really been around bipedal, so two-legged or quadruped, four-legged robots. Um, and that's really, you know, two of the three main products that Boston Dynamics offers today, or, well, I don't say products, but robots, are Spot, which is the, f the four-legged dog-like robot, and Atlas, which is the, the humanoid robot used more for, like, research. My role in Boston Dynamics, as, as you've been saying, is, is not so much in that, but rather with the, the third platform, which is the stretch robot. And that is uh, Boston Dynamics venture into uh, logistics or warehouse robotics. So, so Stretch is a essentially a mobile manipulator platform, right? It is a big robot. Um, it's got an, uh, a base with wheels, so it can drive omnidirectionally. It's got a seven degree of freedom arm with a suction gripper, uh, with the purpose of kind of manipulating boxes. So anything that has like you know big flat surfaces is good for a suction gripper, like boxes. Mm -hmm. Does the environment of Boston Dynamics look more like uh, that of a research institute, a, a startup, or uh, or an established firm? You know? Ooh, that is a very, very good question. My other my other two experiences have been at very extremes of that. MathWorks is you know a pretty well established corporation, even though it's actually been around for about as long as as Boston Dynamics. It it is a bigger company, mm -hmm. so so that place is um you know it's it's a pretty pretty process-driven corporate environment um, that, you know, you get a lot of structure, you, there's, which can be good, right? You get a lot of um, you know, training opportunities. Whereas then I went to MIT where it's like, oh, you're like, you know, the <laughs> one software engineer in this group currently. Um, can you just do, do things? everything? <laughs> yeah. Um, and it, it, it's kind of a chaos that you have to embrace. I think Boston Dynamics has a combination of that, right? MathWorks is one of the main uh, global corporate sponsors. So we had a program where we would, you know, provide sponsorship to, to RoboCup and they would invite us to then have our own exhibition booth, um, to, you know, to give presentations, to talk to the students in the competition. Um, and, and my job, you know, in addition to the educational content was to actually travel to RoboCup events or like do webinars and get to basically, you know, do field research. Like how are people, what are people doing in these competitions for robotics? Learn things as you need them, right? Um, it, if you're if you learn like five different things and you don't get to apply them immediately, then you'll probably forget them. Yeah, but makes sense. If you're working on a project where you have to learn one at a time and then apply it, it'll just stick more.